cutaways and B-roll, what are they, what do they mean, and why are they so important? Well, in my opinion, in the first 20 seconds, you should have a cutaway. Here I'm standing in beautiful Moak Lake in New Zealand, and I could just tell you that, or I could show you beautiful cutaways of it, and my daughter feeding the ducks. It's so much more interesting than just a person standing giving a piece to camera. So make sure you shoot lots of cutaways and tell your story with cutaways. Make sure you get wides, MCUs, medium close-ups, and CUs, close-ups, to make sure you're telling your story. Also think about what kind of shots you can get. Here's my daughter back from feeding the ducks. You want some more Nana? Yeah. You go keep the ducks happy and we'll tell everyone about cutaways. So, telling stories. Here's a very quick example of my daughter Riley, who you just saw, out grabbing gelato. Now, I could have just filmed her walking into a store and that was it, but here we have a shot of the gelato sign. We have a shot from behind her, almost a POV of the ice cream. And then importantly, she walks out a shot above her that shows Mrs. Ferg so you know where she was buying that ice cream. Tell story through your shots. You should tell your story, sorry, through your shots. You really shouldn't have to speak if you have enough great cutaways. So shoot lots of cutaways, it'll make your video a lot more interesting.